Hello and a very warm welcome to Jakarta, the bustling Indonesian capital. And all this week we've been based here at Istora Senayan, without doubt the most iconic badminton venue in the world. And badminton is a sport that has a fanatical following here in Indonesia. And the fans are eagerly awaiting the start of finals day at the 12th staging of the Daihatsu Indonesia Masters. So all five finals for you this afternoon, we're starting with mixed doubles and the European Championship silver medalist Jikil and Delvarun from France up against the Olympic silver medalist Chen Wei and Wang Yaxiong trying to win a fourth Indonesian Masters title. Then it's been singles and the Olympic champion Victor Axelsen is up against the former world number two Chu Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei trying to win his first title for three years. But then when in singles, uh, we uh, once again have an Olympic champion. It's Chen Fei from China uh, up against the former world champion, Arachinok Intanon, attempting to win a third Indonesia Masters title when contesting her 40th career final today. Then it'll be women's doubles and three of the four players involved were in the Olympic final. It's Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yifan the reigning world champions and Olympic silver medalists up against the Olympic gold medalist Rahayu, now with her new partner, Ramadanti. Then we finish with men's doubles and the qualifiers, Liang and Wang from China, up against Alfian and Adianto from Indonesia in their fourth final in their last five tournaments. Well, uh, this event is the fourth of seven Super 500 events on the HSBC BWF World Tour. And as has become tradition with all World Tour events, the World Tour Finals Trophy is uh, walked into the stadium uh, to be kept on show. Walked in by the very recently retired Olympic champion, uh, Gracia Poli from Indonesia and that is the trophy that the players will be playing for on the finals day of the World Tour Finals due to take place in Guangzhou in December. Well with mixed doubles being our first final of the day a chance for us to look at the draw from the quarter-final stage and you can see six different nationalities, Ladies four seeds, two pairs morning. from China and two from On Korea. But those two pairs from both China and Korea, the bottom half of the draw, as you can see. In the top half of the draw at the semi-final stage, there weren't any seeds left. So Tong Ji Kel and Delphine Del Ru are trying to become the first European mixed doubles pair to win in Indonesia for eight years up against the Olympic silver medalists Cheng Shi Wei and Wang Yang who are trying to win a fourth title at this particular event. Well, as I was saying, the race to the World Tour Finals is uh, uh, looking uh, very uh, uh, different at the moment when you compare it to the players that we've got on finals day. But I can tell you after this week, the number one and two in the mixed doubles will remain as they are. The number 10 ranked pair, Sheng Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong, they're in the final. If they win today's final, they'll go up seven places to number three. If they're beaten in today's final, they'll only go up five places. Tom Jikel and Delphine Del Ru are currently at 16 on those race to Guangzhou standings. They will go into the top 10, whether they win or lose today's final, but they could go as high as eight if they win today's match. So we are just about ready for our first final of the day. And this tournament dates back to 2010, but it's interesting that it's only the fourth time uh, that the Indonesian Masters has been staged here at Estora Sanayan in Jakarta. Well, great fine up, final lineup. I'm Jill Clark, delighted to say that sitting alongside me is Dean Pedersen, former head coach of the uh, Denmark national team. And, uh, We've got a good day to look forward to, Steve. We've got a very good day to look forward to. Lots of uh, questions to be answered. Yes, there certainly are. And 
of course the home fans will be extremely happy because they have players involved in the last two finals of the day the women's doubles and the men's doubles as well well this mixed doubles is really a, a no, landmark occasion please for please both go. pairs both pairs Tom trying Kika. to make history of course for Cheng Shui Wei and Wang Ya Xiao, they are very used to these big occasions. But for this pair, Tom Shikel and Delphine Del Rue, uh, this is a new experience. The first ever World Tour final ah, at a 500 or above Wang level. Ya Kyo, China! For the Olympic silver medalists, the two-time former world champions are trying to become only the third mixed doubles pair in history since the inception of the Super Series and now World Tour to win one particular tournament four times. The other pairs to do so, Chang Nang and Zhao Yun Lei, yes. who won both Korea and Hong yes. Kong four yes. times, and uh, Fisher okay. and Pedersen from Come Denmark, who won Pedersen. their home event. Four times. Red or well, this black? is the first meeting between these two pairs. Black. As you Red can color see. for you. Black. Uh, what do you choose? An important toss of. Delvin Del Rue will serve. Who will receive? Zhang Siwei will receive. Which side? On my left side. So, the French pair won the toss of the coin and chose to serve. I find that a little surprising because we've been talking all week about the significant drift in this arena and i was convinced that the drift lengthways drift changed yesterday part way through the semi-finals lineup but the sideways drift has been consistent it will be from left to right as we not look down well yes as we do look down on the court at the moment but here is Tom Jikel, he's 23 years of age from Tours in West Central France, gateway to the Loire Valley wine region. He and his partner are one place down from their career high of 10. And this is their third appearance here at the Indonesia Masters. They were semi-finalists two years ago, had a wonderful tournament, and that really, for me, was, was their big breakthrough at this particular event two years ago. Delphine Del Rue is also 23 years of age from Sassel, the suburbs of Paris. And uh, they are in their second consecutive uh, final in tournaments played this year because they were beaten in the final of the European Championships. Now look at these results. First round against the defending champions and the reigning world champions, Puavra and Nukro and Teurat Tanachai. Uh, they needed uh, to come from 9.15 down in the deciding game against uh, Christiansen and Boya. And then in the quarterfinal beat the number six seeds, the beaten finalists from last year, the two left-handers, Tang and Si from Hong Kong, China, and then Jonko and Pilsen Prum from Thailand were in the semi-final. Cheng Shi Wei is 25 years of age, uh, born in the port city of Wangzhou in Xijiang province on the east Ready coast of play. China. He and his partner, as you can see, have been world number ones, but currently number two. And for Wang Yaxiong, this is a monumental occasion for her because it is her 60th career final. Now that's across two disciplines. The 28-year-old from Xijiang province as well. Now all of their matches until the semi-finals uh, were two straight games. Semi-final against the two left-handers. The Korean pair of Su Seung Jae and Che Yu Jung dropped the opening game before coming through in one minute shy of the hour mark. I'm part of this one. Latif Gopari of Indonesia. And both court officials from the host nation. Ready. 
Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tom Gickel and Dalvin Delru, France. And on my left, Zhang Siwei and Huang Yechong, China. Delpin Delru to serve to Zheng Siwei. Level, play. So the mixed doubles final, the unseeded French combination far side of the court. Jekyll and Delru. One luck. And this pair from China, Sheng Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong, I was telling you, have won the title on three previous occasions, 2018, 19 and 20. So coming into today's final, they have an incredible 19 and zero win-loss record Two. at this particular Love. tournament. That's impressive, Steve. Yeah, it's very, very impressive. Never lost any major masters in the store. Service over. One, two. They have a good record all over as well in the arena for the Indonesia Open and the um, Asian Games. Only ever lost one match in uh, Indonesia Open against Kuala Yin and Champing Sol back in 2018. From how many matches in total? So Ooh. Three, um, one. Yeah, I can't tell you that. Yeah. But they won the Indonesia Open. Um, service fault call, too high. Service fault call on Tom Jiken. So two, three. Well, overall, I think we need to talk about their record, Steve, the Chinese combination, because this is their 31st final when playing in their 41st tournament together. Yeah. So that's basically a 75% it's of all tournaments played, they've reached the final. It's ridiculous in a good way. So yes. It's over. Um, four, two. Only played for like four years, more or less. And, uh, no, and we've had two years of, of non-participation, basically, by good. Chinese players because of the pandemic. So it's over. Three, four. I had the pleasure of watching the match yesterday, and I noticed that Jiang Siwei no longer carries a knee strapping, so um, I think that indicates that he's in great uh, physical shape. That was a good backhand. Good running. Yeah. Well, obviously, the Chinese Service combination over. like playing in Five, the Soros and I, but I think it's also true of the French pair because yeah. I was saying earlier that I thought it was their breakthrough tournament when they reached the semi final in 2020. They lost that semi-final to the now Olympic champions, Wang Lu and Wang Dongping. Uh, but in the last 16, they beat the Leila. now world champions, Pua Nukro and Teirat Tanajai. And in the quarter-final, they beat the home favourites, Jordan and Octavianti. So to have back-to-back -back results like that when they were, at that time, an unknown pair, really put them on the mixed doubles map. Service over. Play on. Four. Yeah, it's totally five. Agree. There was the breakthrough tournament where you sort of um, realized that they could compete with the very best. Yeah. In the uh, discipline. What Service are their qualities? Over. Because there's Six, probably four. a number of people watching that 
don't really know yeah. this French pair. Yeah, I think if we take Delphine de Rie, she's a um, she's a typical mixed doubles player, really, really uh, good at reading the game at the net. It, oftentimes, it, it doesn't look like um, the uh, sort of uh, Brilliant uh, shots like we see uh, other players make, or big Five, smash winners, or six. excellent defense. But she's uh, just standing where the shuttle is coming. So, very good at reading the game. Yesterday, she played magnificently in the match against uh, Jomko and uh, Pev Samplan. Was um, almost flawless at the net, and that um, gives Tom Shikel uh, good working conditions. Um, he is. Um, in his hand, uh, also I would say a, a typical old-fashioned, uh, good meaning, old-fashioned mixed doubles player, good controlling shots from the mid-court area, um, got a good smash, good touch, can play the mid-court area from the opponent's side as well, um, moves well, and I think you know, they're, they're pretty clear on what they want to do. They want to um, they want to go for the attack. This is not on their own free will. Good turn around there. What a great rally. Oi, oi, oi. Don't believe it. Oh, that was a fabulous punch clear from Chen Chi Wei at the end of the rally. Oh, dear. Is she OK? Service over. Six, seven. Oh, that was Can amazing. What a Thank rally. You. I think she's heard her back. When was that? The go. last shot? Yeah, I think so. I think so far we've only had 1.1 on serve. for the first Seven. time. The Olympic silver medalists go into the lead. That's good. Good play from uh, the Rick. Service over. Obviously, Eight uh, all. Zhang and Huang is the uh, clear favourites. Or I don't know if it's obvious, but to me, they're the clear favourites in um, in this match. So um, I'm looking for ways that. Um oh my goodness! Did you see the way he stepped into that yeah. defence? Jikel. Really well done. I'm looking for ways the Nine, French can um, eight. Sort of challenge the second seeds in this um, tournament here. And one of the keys, I think, is that. Um, Delphine de Rie has got to uh, at least play level with uh, Huang Yachong, preferably beating her at the net, and that's not an easy task, but we saw yesterday that Huang so Yachong was a little bit of a slow None. starter against oh. Seo Chung Jae and uh, Che Hu Jong, and they defeated in the, uh, in the semi-final. There were some gaps on the sides of uh, Huang Yachong. Ah, that's a nice shot. 
Oh, he's quick. Dainty way. Ten, nine. Look how he came forward at exactly the right moment. And that's where the and Jekyll must be thinking to himself, that's, that's normally a quite good shot, the one that uh, I played there. Oh. Suddenly, Jones away picked up speed. Oh, my goodness me. Well, then it's late. Amazing defense from Wang Yaxiong. Service over. 10 all. And it is the Eleven, French combination ten. who have the advantage at the mid-game interval. One point advantage. In fact, there's never been more than two points in it. Start by uh, Delaware and uh, Shikel. But now it's going to be important. Both pairs have had a chance to uh, evaluate. Ten. It's the first time they play each other, so play. now it's important what happens here after the interval. Oh. Well, that was a bit of a loose serve, and remember he got faulted earlier Sorry, on. So I think that. he's lost a bit of confidence 11. on his serve. Oh. Does so shuffle at the front of the court, well, Delphine Del oh. Rue. Final shot, 13, that shot there. 12. Finding a gap so the shuttle dropped below tape. Good service. That was really well played by Tom Shikel. Service over. 13 all. Oh. 
Okay. Well, that was something that they discussed. I suspect. 14. 13. The moment he made that move, Jiang Siwei, he was turning to look at Yang Ming and uh, got applause from his coach. So. Kevin Derry. Of course, they have to try and maintain the initiative, but they can't do it all the time. There's got to be variation. Otherwise, it becomes easily readable. I can't afford that at this sort of stage of the game, can you? Error on return of serve. You've got no. to make your opponents play. There's three costly ones. There was the attempted kill that yep. hit the top of the tape. The cross that was put away by Jiang Siwei, and now this one. And there's another. And now this one. So now you're playing catch-up against, 13. in my opinion, the best mixed double in the world at the moment. Yes, their third final in their last three tournaments. Hamilton Asia Championships in Manila won that. They won the last World Tour event in Bangkok, the Thailand Open. Seventeen, thirteen. Thank you. And this is where yes, play on. Uh, <coughs> Tom. the difference between the good players and the very good players is uh, shown 7-2 up after the interval. Huang Chong and uh, Zhang Siwei. Eighteen, thirteen. And now it's time for the French to show some resilience oh, to sort ready. of um, um, establish themselves amongst the top contenders, because otherwise the eleven ten in the beginning of the match is not worth that much. I know it's harsh to say, but that is, in my opinion, the fact. 19-13. Oh, that's a... Uh, oh, we're not seeing it. We're seeing the Phil Rue dive, but it was the block that was so impressive Thank you. from Sheng Shi Wei. The Concord, Delvin, get ready. Seven straight points. I think the players should be made to stay with the court attendant and rather than the court attendant leave while they're Thank fiddling you. at their kit boxes because getting court attendants back onto well, court it takes is a lot more time takes so much more time yeah. play And this is extraordinary. 20, Eight straight points point from 12, 13, 13 down. To have seven game point opportunities. Game. Opening game. 21-13. Zheng Siwei and Huang Yaichong. 18 minutes for the 13. opening game. Uh, those nine straight points from 12-13 down. Wow. French pair are going to have to regroup because that was very impressive by the two-time former world champions. Yeah. 
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Second game, level Good. play. So one game to the goods, and one game away from equaling the current record of the mixed doubles pair. Service over. The player winning one four love. times at the same event. Two pairs have done it. One other player, Steve. That other player has won four times at one particular tournament. Indonesian great. Ooh. Uh, Liliana Natsia. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah, won the Singapore Open four times with two different partners. Just gone wide. Service over. One. All. Service over. Two. Well, I one. think the French pair enjoyed success in the opening game by really thinking about placement, taking the shuffle early in the mid-court area, and unlike that situation where Jiquel lifted the shuffle, Service basically, over. he was Two. guiding the shuffle All. and keeping it flat over the net, yeah. and I think they perhaps need to revert to that. Yeah, I think that's exactly right and, but also part of the problem that uh, it's especially on this side of the court here it's really dangerous to lift to uh, the chinese so the french defense in my opinion doesn't really match the attack well the parent did thank you for showing us that uh, but in general two um it's very, very strong, Huang Yachong and uh, Jiang Siwei when they're attacking. Um, on the other hand, well, this is perhaps the way to do it and, and take confidence so that, f uh, that that you actually can play in defense. Um, so the uh, market doesn't become too small, so, 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 so that you go for the tight four. spinning net shot here to create a good opportunity instead of just playing it a little bit more safe, looking for the chance uh, later on in the rally. So good, isn't it? it taking the shuffle Four, early in the mid-court area. Chang Shi Wei, that little push. Look, look how he's still uh, keeping pressure on. Intercepting. Five, three. 
Well, it's been eight years since the European pair managed to win a mixed doubles title in Indonesia. And that was Joachim Fischer and Christina Pedersen. Well, that's well judged because that could have come back Six. in with the drift, the sideways Three. drift. Very well judged. Service over. Four. Great men's doubles player. Six. As well in his um, junior days. Tom Schickel. So not uh, unused to playing the uh, front court. I think it's a requirement in general Zoda. anyway nowadays, isn't it, for a male mixed Seven. doubles player? Yeah. We see Four. it with Puavra Nukro, we see it uh, just now from Cheng Shi Wei, we, we see it from all the top male mixed doubles players. Exactly. Which also means, of course, that the female players have got to be strong enough to work from the back of the court. Eight. Four. I like the idea, so Steve. Yep. Nine. And he's normally four. good at um, Thank you. finding these mid court area shots and spots. The thing is, the pace is uh, is high here. I remember once a uh, double pair came home from a tournament in Asia and saying, when we played these players here, it, it almost felt like when we were playing three against two in practice. Yeah, you just have to play three against two in practice all the time because that's the amount of pressure that you face when you're playing the world's Ten, best. So you've got to get used to it in practice. Yeah. And it's a six point advantage for Shinji Wei and Wang Yaxiong here at the mid game interval of the second game. We ought to mention it's a bit of a milestone for this man as well today, Cheng Shi Wei. Well, because when you look at Super Series Final Plus, World Tour level four and above, the equivalent of the Super Series. He has today overtaken a shared record. Twenty seconds. Thirty-seven finals. Twenty seconds. Zhang Nan has the most number of mixed doubles finals at that level of tournament. Today, he is playing his thirty-eighth Super Series or World Tour level five hundred and above final. 11, five. Some less titles, though. So he's not going to be top Play. of the list in my book. Not yet. Not yet. Sarasota, six, 
11. Play. Well, Judge. Yep. We've hardly seen any leaves at the back Seven, of the board, have we? 11. Oh, there we go. Yep. Service over. 12, Twelve long. 7. Just like yesterday, uh, with Sorry, the so Koreans, bad. I feel Eight. the 12. slight chance there is, in my opinion, for the French is to try and pressurize that point at Chong. I would flick you and try and get her away from the uh, net to get her out in the open. Well, that is precisely as you suggested. Well, it couldn't so have so 13, 8. Oh my goodness, how did he get that back? Oh, that's that amazing. Phenomenal defence from Chen Chi Wei. Now oh, we're only seeing 14, the final smash. It was the eight. defensive shot that was of interest. Thank you. Tom, can you check? Thank you. <laughs> Service over. Nine, fourteen. Zeng, let's see. Wayne tried a so shot there, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I, I can understand if Huang Yachong is a little bit sort of um, um, not really know what's going on because I, I think it's been a long Michael time Park. since we've seen Zhang Ziwei play as good as this and as fast as this. So, so where so she had to uh, cover 15, a bit more earlier on, nine. especially when you had this knee brace on. Now he's uh, playing like back in his youth, even though he's only, what, 25? Thank you. Yeah. I think he's a very clever player. You talked Ten, about his technical 15. skills earlier, but I believe Tom Chikel is tactically very astute. He is. Oh Sarasova, 16-10. Oh. 
Uh, she got back well there. Still team Del Rue. Yeah. Service over. 11-16. Uh, it's wonderful placement of the smash. Aiming so, towards so the that. right hip. 17 11. When we talked about the French defense uh, versus the Chinese attack, they had a couple of good rallies just after that. But now things have sort of um, uh, gotten back to normal. We've seen the true difference. 18 11. The attack and the defense. Tom, return the title. So three points away from equaling the record of four titles at one particular tournament. Mixed doubles titles, that is. Nice one well left, my goodness. Service over. 12, 18. 13, 18. Yeah, it's, it's of course late now, but they've got to take their chances with Huang Ya Chong. Dorian Shikel, she is not um, playing what that about? well, not as dominant as we know her. But, uh, Service over. 19. Good enough to put 13. that away. Thank you. Play. Just oh, wide. It's match point opportunities. Twenty opportunities match for a point. Four. In the Masters title. Oh, clever. Lovely shot. Service oh, over. I'm a little disappointed he didn't get to that. 14 <laughs> 20. And Cheng Chue and Wang Yaxiong win a fourth Indonesia Masters title. To add to those titles, one in 2018, 19, and 20. They didn't play last year Match in Bali. Won by Zheng Siwei and Wang Never Yaxiong. been beaten in this 13, tournament as a pair. 14. Quite extraordinary record. 21, 13, 21, 14 in 38 minutes, their victory. And it is a 24th career title for the former world number ones and the former world champions. No wonder it's all smiles. Equals the records currently of a maximum of four titles in the mixed doubles discipline at any one particular tournament. And I wouldn't mind suggesting that if they still continue to play together, that record might go. Yeah.
this the final rally. It was a desperation attempt from Gikel. But the French should be mighty proud of their performance this week. They've had a, a wonderful week here in Estora. get ready for the prize presentation and I mentioned just now Steam that if this Chinese pair to continue to play together because of course they played some tournaments earlier this year with different partners yeah they have and uh, I, I think that has helped them to sort of figure out that the grass is not greener on the other side and I think it's safe to say that they put the Olympic disappointment behind them, disappointed with the silver. I think they have been, and I think now they're looking forward to Paris. Yeah. Well, their first ever final at Super 500 or above level for Jiquen and Del Rue. But for Shen Chiwei and Wang Yaxiong, a fourth title here at the Indonesia Masters, a 24th career title as a pair. COVID protocols are still in place. The presentation party just have a tray with the medals on and the players present each other with their medals. the medals, the trophy, and the prize money as well, but what's most important to the players is finals of these major events. a very convincing performance by Chen Shui Wei and Wang Yaxiong. But it is a moment that Jikel and Del Ru will remember for the rest of their lives. Their first 
500 or above tournament final. So coming up next Thank is the men's single final. It's the Olympic champion Victor Axelsson from Denmark up against the number three seed Chou Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. So welcome back to finals day at the Daihatsu Indonesia Masters. The first final completed and China victorious against the French combination. Next up is Ben Singles and it features the Olympic champion Victor Axelsen up against the former world number two, Cho Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei, who's uh, trying to win his first title for three years. Well, when we look at the men's single draw, it's 